Hey, it's Amadea. How is everyone's day going? I hope you guys are doing awesome. And today I was thinking that I'm gonna make an art piece inspired by our Hawaiian rich hike that we did with my friends. So let me explain to you what I ended up picking for my art piece. So first I, would, I picked one of the shots that I thought was the cutest is my friend Meg. She was waving at me from the sides as I was filming the beautiful view and I just caught her waving and she has this beautiful um, braids and just smile and I was like oh gosh like she would look so cool as a cartoon cartoony stylized character so I went on her Facebook to get her some reference for her and, and I found this picture of her with this beautiful flower crown and I was like oh my god this flower crown and her like majestic looking glance down with like slightly closed eyes would just fit perfectly the Hawaiian backdrop of the ocean and the greens. Hope you will love it. All right, see you in the time lapse. <laughs> Bye. So back I am, so here first I was just doing a quick sketch and then the clean line art based on my sketch. I was really happy how it turned out for the first time because sometimes I struggle with the sketch a lot. And after that I'm doing the flat colors, so I outline each the face and the hair with the base colors. Um, I'm trying to pick these colors from the photo and try to make them a little more alive so on the photo you know there are a lot of flatter colors but the ones i pick are mostly um, more saturated and then you could see for the lips i did a slightly um, darker shade for the top lips and then lighter for the bottom now i'm outlining first all the leaves so that was a crazy process just outlining all the leaves green so i have a flat green color this by the way helps a lot if you have flat colors on the bottom that are completely covering the white background you will be able to use a clipping mask for each layer that these colors are on and that will be very helpful in order to shade um, staying in between the lines this is crazy guys look how long the leaves took me <laughs> it's probably like 20 percent of the whole drawing we just outlining these leaves but i love the shape of the leaves it's just so relaxing though to outline with the pointy end and the smooth sides so i was having a lot of fun and here comes the flowers i was trying to have pinkish flowers like on the picture and i'm not even exactly sure what kind of flower this is but in mediterranean and warm areas there are these huge bushes of this pink flower that was on this flower crown and i thought it's the prettiest flower my grandma used to love it and i just was so happy to draw it because i don't think i've ever drawn this flower before all right so you can see i started on the shadows and i thought it looked super cool on the photo how the my friend Meg had these little lights on her face because the sun was hitting the flower crown first so it reflected on her face how there were little uh, openings in between the leaves and the flowers and so I put that on there and we'll see in the end I think it looks super cool. I'm shading the hair right now, I'm trying to pick out the darker areas and um, just imagining if the light hit from the right where which area would be in shadow. Same thing with the flowers. I am just putting little shadow lines on the left side of each leaf and petal so that it would help creating the effect of depth in the, in, the, in, the, in the end of the painting and just show where the light is coming from. As you can see in the end there's gonna be a huge difference just because I applied these shadows 
And then I also do the highlights, which is basically just a lighter version of the base color on the opposite end to where I put the shadows. And I'm still working on the pink flowers. I'm picking a layer setting for them right now. After I finish, I like to play with the layer modes because some of these settings make it look super cool and I can't even anticipate how that's gonna look like so you just gotta go through them all and see which one's the best but I can say that I love using add and I love using multiply sometimes I use pin light um, I just love the way add especially kind of burns the color out underneath so it just highlights that area where I use the add layer and creates a super cool contrast somehow sometimes i use it too much so yeah you gotta make sure you don't overdo the add layer for sure all right so here i'm getting more and more ahead i always shadowed and lightened the whole crown and I'm, I'm now i'm getting to the background the background can get super tricky because doing something super simple that highlights the features of the piece that you want the best way is so hard and Honestly, I sometimes spend five times as much time on the background that I probably should be. But in the end, I just decided with a very light pink tone and just a, a light in the middle that would shine through in the outside of her hair. And so those are the highlights I'm adding right now. Um, it's a little hard to see because meantime it became dark. <laughs> I was working on this whole afternoon, so um, I'm sorry about that, but you can see I'm just adding the highlights to the face and to the flowers and to the side of the hair and in a second I will show you guys the final piece. I hope you enjoyed this and I'm really excited to see how it turned out because I think it looks super cool. And here, yeah, these are just the final touches for the layer modes. This is the finished piece and I hope you guys love it because I think it turned out so fun. I love drawing flowers, I love drawing hair and girls. Um, let me know in the comments um, what inspired you the most out of the vlog of our little hike and also let me know if you have any other requests for my next um, activity inspired video. Maybe I could go to the beach and take a beach scenery and draw a mermaid on it or you know anything you can think of. Just. Any ideas, please let me know. It would be fun to hear what you guys think. And also you can find me on Instagram. You can click here um, or see here my Instagram name. And please, if you like the video, it would mean so much to me if you subscribed here, subscribe in this area. So thank you guys. I am excited to see you next week.